Welcome to episode 30 of our Family Travel Australia series. Firstly, from our family to yours, we just want to send you our thoughts and our love wherever mm. you are around the world. We know that everybody is being impacted in mm. some way or another. Yes. And we also wanted to let you know that we are safe and well. Uh, we feel very fortunate to have some beautiful friends here in Tassie that have given us a place to park up the van and call home while we sit this out for however long that takes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, this episode is the last of the experiences that we enjoyed here in Tasmania mm -hmm. over the last few weeks before things got crazy. Mm -hmm. And it was too good not to share with you. The footage is spectacular. Tasmania, we've said it a million times, is amazing. Mm -hmm. And we hope that this episode gives you a moment of feel good positivity yeah. a minute out from everything else mm -hmm. that is bombarding our screens at the moment mm -hmm. so we uh we've definitely run out of footage to, <laughs> to bring you so next week's format will be different we are however going to try and share with you what we're doing as mm -hmm. far as scheduling our day-to-day -day, taking it a day at a time making sure that we're um, creating still a positive healthy and and happy as mm -hmm. can be environment for ourselves and Jasper during this time. Mm -hmm. These uh, ideas we hope will inspire you um, and your family to maybe give you some relief from all this as well. Definitely, mm -hmm. and now is the time for community. So yeah. we would love to hear from you all. So please drop us a line or pop some comments below. And if there are things that you would like us to discuss and talk about and film mm -hmm. over these next mm -hmm. however long, um, please let us know, we'd love everybody to lean into this community. It's so important. Yeah, right please now. reach out. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. For now, yeah. we hope you enjoy the episode. Take care of yourself and your families. Take care. Bye guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How beautiful is this? We've taken a little detour via a, a beautiful historic town called Richmond. Mm. We're about 20 minutes north of Hobart and it is literally like stepping back in time into the early 1800s. It is amazing. I know, it uh, was I believe settled back in 1805. It has Australia's oldest bridge that's still in use, Australia's mm -hmm. oldest existing jail. Mm -hmm. And then the streets are just lined with these beautiful heritage Georgian style homes. Yeah, sandstone buildings and just the architecture is amazing. Yeah. It's a beautiful quaint little town. So we were staying for one night, but I think we've quickly decided <laughs> that one night is not enough to explore and immerse yeah. ourselves here. So I think a few nights at least. All right, ready to go and explore Jasper? Yeah. Let's do it.
Hi, my name's Andrew. I'd like to welcome you here to Old Hobart Town. It's a model village of Hobart as it was in 1820. All done from original plans, so it's quite an accurate look at what Hobart was like 200 years ago. We spent over three years researching and building just so we could create Australia's only model village that represents one of our early convict built towns. We have based our main recreation on the city centre. We have done some 60 to 70 odd buildings, including churches, jails, big bond stores, and lots of the government buildings. We've built every part of our model village out of various materials. Our little people, for instance, are built out of clay. There's over five or 600 of them all out here now telling stories of what we thought may have been going on in those early days. Our little trees, Tasmanian native myrtle tree, which is a large rainforest tree that we have here in Tasmania. We chose this particular tree because of the scale of its leaf. It fitted in perfectly with our model village. They grow to about 160 foot tall. These are 30 years old. I've been bonsaiing these probably once or twice every year. Each person we tend to find that comes through here tends to come back in and tell us about different parts of the model that they found very interesting. I like to think that what we have created here is not only educational for those people who are really into our history and that sort of thing, but it's a work of art. You can view it from many different angles and the people and everything tells a different story from wherever you look at it. So why don't you come down to Old Hobart Town, learn some of our fascinating history, enjoy the piece of art that we've created here for you to see, become a giant, stomp around Old Hobart Town. Good morning. Good morning. There we go. <laughs> Coming to you live from the Tasman Peninsula. Oh, gee, it's beautiful down here, isn't it? It's Just for something different, yeah, Tasmania. Some, something different, that's right. <laughs> uh, we're going out today on what has been described as Tasmania's number one tourism attraction. Yep. As far as ecotourism, sustainability, environment, wildlife, wilderness, these guys nail it. And it's the Pennicott Wilderness Journeys cruise yeah. out of the Tasman Peninsula. Yeah. Uh, what are you looking forward to most? Oh, we will. We've heard so much about this and mm. the amount of wildlife uh, that we will hopefully see. What I'm looking forward to is the perspective from the boat of these incredible sea cliffs and caves. Australia's and tallest sea cliffs. Apparently. We are going to see some spectacular environment today. I am so excited about that. What about you, Jasper? What are you hoping yeah, to see yeah. today? What's the wildlife you want to see? Um, dolphins. <gasps> yes. Dolphins. Me All too. right. Bye. <laughs> I just passed a fire truck. There you go. Dolphins and fire trucks are on the agenda. Let's do it. No, Woo! not fire trucks. They're wild They're yeah. very cool. <laughs> Daddy. Well, you guys have picked a cracker of a day to come out.
follow the yellow boat road. Pentecost wilderness wow. journey. Actually, yes. Wow is the word that sums up the entire experience that we have just enjoyed. That was incredible. Wow. Mm. If you, you know, when we came to Tasmania, Paul said, I just, I want to see Tasmania. Yeah. And, and that was, you this know. This is the way to do it. Yeah. And, and, and from that, I meant, you know, the environment in, in every aspect of it from the wildlife, yeah. uh, the epic towering sea cliffs, the tallest in Australia. You're, you're in this boat, you're looking up over 300 meters to these vertical cliffs. Mm -hmm. um, the color of the water, the fact that we had a perfect sea uh, day, you know, as in there was one to two meter yeah. swell, a soft swell. Uh, but these boats are made to go out in four or five meters. Oh, I mean, God. aren't they incredible? incredible. The, the boats are amazing yeah. and powerful and where we were able to go into caves and you know, through crevices and, and places that Heart's, you wouldn't even dream of going. Heart stopping adventure <laughs> stuff as well, wasn't it? Yes. Wow, so it's got a, it's got this perfect blend, you know. And then on top of that, you got these guys. We had Captain Ben, his first mate, Luke, who nailed not only the, the content as far as their knowledge, their passion yeah. about what they're talking about, but their care uh, towards everyone that was on board and, you know, making sure everyone is constantly comfortable um, in, in what is quite an adventurous environment. Mm. Nailed it. Thank you, guys. It was amazing. I mean, yeah. and for Jasper, he was just like, he loved it. it Woohoo, baby! Yeah. So we got he more of that than... Shouting and fist pumping and, and it was just awesome so yeah um definitely one for all the family it is look it's number one i think as a, as a tourism attraction here in tasmania they've got five different cruises and a food mm -hmm. seafood experience as well it gives us a reason to want to do them all now after oh. doing one um yes. you can see why they rated number one this is a must do if you are coming to tasmania you're anywhere near tasmania <laughs> you're coming to australia come and do this tour amazing Is she any good? Come do it on the big okay. camera.